a 46,000-year-old worm found in Siberian permafrost was brought back to life, and started having babies. Here's a summary of the article. Scientists discovered a female microscopic roundworm that has been stuck deep in Siberian permafrost for 46,000 years, the Washington Post reported. When they revived it, the worm started having babies via a process called parthenogenesis, which doesn't require a mate. According to a press release, the worm spent thousands of years in a type of dormancy called cryptobiosis. In a study published Thursday in the journal PLOS Genetics, scientists reported that after sequencing the worm's genome, scientists said it belonged to an undescribed species. Previously, Plectus marie and Tylancus polyhypnus nematodes were resurrected from moss and herbarium specimens after a few dozen years, according to Live Science. William Crow, a nematologist at the University of Florida who was not involved in the study, told the Post that this worm could belong to a species that has gone extinct in the last nearly 50,000 years. The fact that the worm survived all of those years is not a shock to scientists, who have known for years that microscopic organisms, like the worm studied here, can stop their biological functions to survive even the harshest conditions, according to the press release. This post received a score of 17,000, with an upvote ratio of 96%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Let's hope researchers handle the permafrost viruses with appropriate control measures. Judging by the most recent outbreak, let's just hope there are no such viruses present. We're done for. We could handle if it were not for the mask holes and anti-vax nutjobs. Can you imagine the anti-vaxxers after smallpox re-emerges from melting Siberian permafrost? It's going to be a literal pox on them and their family. Then they will have to wear masks to cover up all the crazy scars on their faces. Congratulations, you played yourself. Jokes on you, this is a kick-ass face scar coughs up blood. Welcome to Jurassic Park. We only got permafrost worms though. We will have to settle for tremors. Calling in Reba McIntyre and Michael Gross. Best scene in all of American cinema, followed shortly thereafter by the scene with Michael Gross in Tremors 2 Aftershocks, the, I am completely out of a mo, monologue. See what people don't get now is the context. Michael Gross was the touchy-feely, hippie dad from Family Ties. Very left-wing, a PBS station manager. I know that was just a character, but he embodied it so well that's where he resided in the collective consciousness of the population. So to see him as an aggressive, right-wing, gun nut was a shock. It was great casting, really subverting people's expectations. The only modern example closest to it I can think of is Tom Cruise as Les Grossman. I will go to my grave defending Tremors as one of the best movies ever made. Lightning in a bottle and surprisingly well cast who were directed perfectly. No major plot holes and damn few if any small ones. The story is tight and makes sense in its universe. The characters, every one of them, behaves exactly the way you'd imagine they would. The effects still hold up even after, holy shit, 33 years. It's a perfect movie. Defending? Are there people out there denying the greatness of Tremors? Who are these people and when do you want to meet me outside their house? Citizen Kane, this. Seven Samurai, that. Bicycle Thief, the other fuck that noise. Tremors, Dawn of the Dead remake, and The Thing remake, with an honorable mention for Starship Troopers. Given the direction reality has slid Starship Troopers has arguably gotten better with age. Would you like to know more? I guess that means it's one of the oldest living things ever. Happy 46,000th birthday, Lil Wormy. Greater than the original 46,000 year old nematode is no longer alive, but scientists have continued to raise more than 100 generations from this single nematode. The species reproduces without a mate through a process called parthenogenesis. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.